Hi guys, welcome to Bampton Racket Review and to Racket Test number 696. This is the Abroz Shark Great White. Availability and price is as it is with all Abroz rackets. We sell them in the UK into Europe and Bampton Bay sell them into Asia. But if you go into Bampton Bay, use the code BRR5 for your exclusive Bampton Racket Review discount. The cost of this racket is around the £45 mark. So who are we and what do we do? We test badminton equipment like strings, shuttlecocks, shoes and of course lots of rackets. Over 750 in actual fact. Rackets tested on our site in the, and in great detail. Detail like you've never seen before. If you go to our website and go onto the E-Zone, you can sign in and see all this information for free. You can also advertise your club for free and you can also advertise any forthcoming tournaments for free we do ask of you to subscribe to our youtube channel subscribe to our website press the like button and if you can afford it please do donate whatever you can so we can keep our work going forward thank you indian indian customers if you go to our website and go to the Indian resident only section of our website, you can buy this racket, which we ship directly from New Delhi. Uh, in the top corner of the website is the GVP sign. If you just press the arrow down, it'll go to the Indian rupee sign and you can buy it in India, no problem at all. And it should, should reach you within four to five days. Okay, so let's go to the specs of this racket. I'm sorry about this, let me just quickly change my screen over the spec screen here we go okay so our bros have this racket at 78 grams plus or minus two grams the balance point is 295 so just very slightly bearing in this direction uh, the shaft is regarded to be flexible the grip we never get a grip size uh, from a bros so i'm not sure the grip feels fairly big if you're interested maximum string tension 30 pounds on this racket and the racket is made in china <clears throat> the racket is also made of high modulus graphite the e-zone testing on this racket it weighed in at 84.5 grams with this grip and yonix bg65 which we used in all of our rackets head heavy significantly head heavy at 350 mil so that's the balance going quite away in this direction which is probably a good thing for a racket at sort of under 85 grams and it is indeed a flexible shaft okay in terms of design well i think this is probably the most advanced design that abroad have done on a racket it's got this sort of matte white finish it's got some curvature in the head some curves so it's beautifully designed it's very accurately done and, and you can see abroad have stepped up their design efforts with the great the shark great uh, the shark great white i think it's delivered fairly well given the price point take a look at these close-up pictures and see what you think for yourself Okay, before we conclude on this racket, you can go to the E-Zone free of charge and compare rackets for yourself. So you don't need to leave comments asking us what we think of one racket against the other, uh, including this racket where you will see the full smash shot, maneuver shot, all the JPEGs taken of all the tests that we've just shown you, plus the smash JPEG, which has not been shown today, and the test results on the page. So you can go over there, it's free of charge, no reason why not to anymore. What do we think of this uh, racket and what are its key strengths? Well, it had two key strengths for us. It's overhead ability, to ability to be able to hit clears, forehand, backhand, off-center shots, where you're kind of stretching, having to get quite easily done with this racket, not too much strain. And the other area that I felt it did really well in was the control. It controlled the shuttle really good. You have really good understanding where the racket is and you're always managing to get in nice and tight, even if it's close up or from the back. In all other areas, it was good, but not spectacular. I'd say as a racket, it performed well, but not to the standards that we've seen Abroz perform to over the last few years. And Abroz themselves have set massive standards. People have often thought that we make Abroz. We don't make Abroz. We only sell products 
that have got a score generally around 79 or 80 out of 100 or more. We generally don't stock rackets that are less than that in terms of scoring. So we cannot say to you that this racket is better than the Venom or the Hammerhead. Um, I would say that this racket feels more stable than any other of the Abros rackets, certainly the Nano 9900, which is a very easy, super flexible, chilled out racket to use, doesn't take much effort. This will require more effort to use and it is a little bit harder to use, but there's something about the racket which is slightly more, um, it's, it's not, not, I was going to say the word heavier it's not heavier it's just a more stable racket and it does feel a little bit you do need to put in that little bit more effort to get more from the racket uh, personally i'd still head in the direction of a hammerhead i still head in the direction of a venom because they still remain the key to the abros range and rackets that perform way above their 45 pound marker i hope that's been helpful to you do leave reviews on the ezone if you're an ezone user do leave reviews on youtube uh, of any rackets you may have chosen do subscribe do like and thanks again for the love we'll see you on the next video